Hello traders, hello investors, how are you guys doing today my friends? Welcome to another video here in the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan and today let's analyze Tesla's price action. Tesla is dropping a little bit today, 1.43% right now the moment I'm recording this video. However, this week Tesla is still going up. We are going up in nearly 5% and it is still doing this bottom sign over here. To me, it still feels like Tesla is trying to bounce back up again in the weekly chart. So what's that? I mean, in the daily chart, it is in a resistance level right now. So what to expect next on Tesla? Well, I'm going to give you guys more details in this video. First, remember to click on the like button to support this channel, subscribe to keep in touch with my data analysis. Check my newsletters, check my website. The link is in the description of this video this week. We have it is our 100 100th yet week anniversary. We are performing insanely well for 100 weeks. Check this, check this performance over here. Our portfolio is beating the overall market by a mile 83% since 2021. I think you guys are going to appreciate what I have to offer. Uh, so check my website, the link is in the description of this video. And, and I will have to make this video a little bit shorter because today is Brazil's game, right? Brazil is going to play in uh, 20 minutes, so I got to watch it. So I'm going to record this video a little bit earlier than usual, but I don't think this is going to ruin our, uh, our reading over here, okay? So that's right, let's proceed with Tesla's price action. Uh, yes, we hit a resistance, which was our target. We nailed it, this target at 198, that's great. It did, it seems to me it did a spinning top candlestick pattern and uh, right now it is trying to drop, it is losing the, the spinning top slow, which is 191.80, today's low was 191.11. So yes, technically speaking, it did trigger this spinning top candlestick pattern. However, in the one hour chart, in the one hour chart, let, let's do our multiple time frame analysis over here. In the one hour chart, we have this idea of a pennant chart pattern, right? Uh, this pennant over here seems to be at the same time a descending triangle. And uh, the one and one area is a key support level in the short term, along with the 21 EMA. If Tesla triggers this uh, flag pattern downwards, then okay, then I believe we're going to see more pullback but uh, so far the bias in the one hour chart is still bullish and if tesla breaks this pennant this pennant chart pattern upwards it will probably reverse the bear trend in the daily chart in the daily chart the trend is still bearish and the only way to reverse this bear trend to me is breaking triggering this bullish pennant chart pattern upwards. In this scenario, Tesla is going to break the 198 and the next technical target is $234. Now, but what if we trigger this pennant downwards? Then I believe it is going to try to retest the 179 again at least. And uh, if we lose the 179, then it is going to completely ruin any bullish thesis on Tesla and prob probably it is going to do again a lower low because this is what Tesla is doing, right? It is doing lower highs. Uh, wow, what is what is happening? I just wanted to do this. It is still doing uh, lower highs, lower lows. It can't trigger a bullish pivot point properly. So this is what would happen in theory on Tesla all the way down to $150. So Therefore, it is very important to keep your eyes open at this pennant chart pattern in the one hour chart and to the key point at 198 in the daily chart. In the weekly chart, in the weekly chart, uh, our bullish thesis gains strength because last week it did a hammer candlestick pattern just after retesting the bottom line of this descending channel, just after doing a false breakout for the 179, which is 2021's low. It did all of that and it closed it doing a hammer candlestick pattern. This week, the hammer was triggered 
and it is going up 5%, the volume is quite good. So if Tesla triggers this flag, flag, I'm so sorry, this peanut chart pattern in the one hour chart breaks the one and eight in the daily chart, the technical target in the midterm is two, three, four. However, however, this key point in the weekly chart is where the 21 EMA is right now. The EMA is at $233 at this moment. So see, all time frames right now are speaking the same language to me. This is why I think Tesla is a very good and very interesting stock to trade right now. And uh, in my humble opinion, we should keep our eyes open at these key points. Of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated every day on this one. So seriously, consider subscribing this channel if you are not my subscriber yet. Click on the like button to support me. Check our newsletters. Check this incredible performance. My dear friends, you got to subscribe to my newsletters. I think you guys are going to appreciate what I have to offer. Have a great weekend, my dear friend. Thank you very much for your audience. Stay safe. Farewell.